Alright, so for our final project, we have decided to make a speech recognition eye test. So the way how it works is that uh, letters will be displayed on the TFT, and then this will um, require the user to speak the letter into the microphone circuit here. And so when the user speaks, the PIC32 uh, microcontroller processes it and will determine to see if the user has uttered the correct letter. And then based on the on what the user says then you go to smaller letters or 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 terminate the eye test or right so the way out it works is that we have a set threshold for the number of letters to be displayed at a particular size and if the user guesses uh, more than a specified number of uh, letters correct then it will decrease the le decrease the letter size okay and, and uh, can you tell me a little bit about the speech recognition algorithm? Well, we pretty much take the FFT of the first 256 samples, sampled at an 8 kilohertz sampling frequency, <laughs> and we take the last 256 samples and we use the MEL transform to group them into 10 buckets each, and we sort them. So pretty much if like the ninth bucket is the largest, then the first value would be 9, and if the eighth one is next would then be like nine, eight, and it just go based off of the sorted ordinal values. Okay, so that, that gives you then a fingerprint for each different letter, and uh, you look for for best fit. Okay, are you going to demo it? Yep. So, currently it seems to be set for one correct and two guessed. So then, L. So notice how the guessed increment by one and the correct incremented by one. I don't know if you can see the TFT. So because I guessed that letter correctly, correct incremented and guessed it. I. So I got another one correct. So now the text size got smaller. Mm -hmm. And guessed and correct reset for this text size. A. E. I. So I just guessed three in a row correct, so it went once again to a smaller text size and reset the mm -hmm. guessed and correct. R. E. And then, let's see, I can just say random letters. H. Um, T. So notice that now guessed is at four, correct at two, because half of those I just said ri some random letters in that aren't in our dictionary. Mm -hmm. So now guest is pretty high up there, so L. So I just purposely got R wrong. So if you notice, because I got enough guesting correctly, it just printed my score at 20 over 40. The best vision you can get is 20 out of 20, because once you reach that text size, if you get them all correct, it just prints 20 out of 20. So, so your so you're, is corresponding to 2020 vision? Yeah. Okay. Very nice. And the and the accuracy and you, how did you tune the? Is so you trained on the the voice on the two of you? Yeah. And then you tested on a third person. Yeah. Yep. And it and it worked uh, based upon the training of the other two people. Yep. It's very impressive. Yeah, it helped that we had across genders, so our voices had like the gender difference, and we also could get different amplitudes off of having two different voices because two people will speak at not only some different frequency variation but also amplitude variation. Have you tried it on more people? Uh, I'm the third one to try that. So you, so only three so far. One yeah. one who's not in the training set. It would be it would be cool to get a couple more in the yeah. training set. Partially what makes it more difficult is because we had to filter out the noise around us. It requires you to like really know how to just speak into the microphone because we set the energy threshold a little higher than we would in a quiet room because yeah, we wanted it, to filter out noise around us. Otherwise, yeah. you just keep getting it wrong because it would yeah, pick it's, up. It's very noisy in here. Okay, thank you.